So we will take a look at problem 3.22 from Sadiku. So the question is determine V1 and V2. This is V1 and V2. And first I will assume that this current here is going to the right side. And the current here is going to the downside. And here also to the downside. And then this one is to the right side. And this is obviously to the right side. And we will start at V1 using KCL. So first we need to know the voltage here. There is a voltage source here. And it is 12 volt from the ground. So the voltage here will be 12. And here the current that goes in is only this current. The other three is going out. So the current that goes in, 12 minus V1 divided by 2 is equal to this current here, V1 minus V2 divided by 8 plus 3 is from this one and the last one is V1 divided by 4 and then we multiply both sides by 4 not, not by 4 by 8 so I will have 12 times 4 it's 48 minus 4 V1 and this one will equal to V1 minus V2 plus 24 plus this one is 2 V1 okay now we will do some algebra here we move 24 to the left so I will have 24 and I will move this V1 to the right side so V1 plus 2 V1 is 3 3 plus 4 it's 7 V1 and we will have minus V2 let's save this as equation number 1 and then we will take a look at this V2 but first I want to check at these nodes this nodes is 5V0 and V0 is here but it is this is positive and this is negative so this has to be minus V0 okay now we can do KCL at not V2 and we will check there is three currents two goes in and one goes out so the current that goes in is this one and this one so I will have V1 minus V2 divided by 8 plus 3 and this one is V2 minus minus 5 V0 so I will have plus 5 V0 and it is divided by 1 so I can multiply both sides by 8 I will have V1 minus V2 plus 24 is equal to this one v2 no it's multiplied by 8 so it will be 8 v2 plus 40 v0 and then I will take a look at that v0 8 v2 plus 40 V0 what is V0 V0 is the voltage here so it is the difference between this node and this node so I can make it 12 minus V1 then I will have V1 minus V2 plus 24 is equal to 8 V2 plus 480 minus 40 
v1 so I can move this minus 40 v1 to the left hand side so I now will have 41 v1 and then I can move this one to the left hand side so I have minus 9 v2 and I can move this 24 to the right hand side so I will have 180 minus 24 and what is it? Okay, 465, 456, and we will have this as equation number 2. So what we need to do is solve these two equations, and I will exactly do that. So we will have 9v2 here and so I need to eliminate this v2 so I multiply the equation number 1 by 9 and I will have what is 24 times 9 it is 216 so I will have 216 here and then I will have minus 9 feet 2 and I will have 63 feet 1 so I can eliminate both of them and I will have 41 minus 63 this minus 22 one and this will cancel each other so I don't need to care about that and for this one I will have two hundred forty so I will have V1 is equal to let's calculate that two hundred forty divided by negative 22 and that will be minus 10 minus 10 0.909 volt so this is our first answer and then we need to plug this into this one so 24 is equal to 7 minus 10 point this number minus v2 so v2 is equal to this number minus 24 and let's plug this into our lovely calculator so we will have 7 times minus 10.909 minus 24 so I will have that value it is minus 100.363 so we will have V2 equal to minus 100.363 so we have our answer here this is the unit is fault this is for v1 and this is for v2 okay let me know if i made any mistakes and thanks for watching